I kill and whiz. It's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. You're the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to, to move my pencil. I thought it said prove my pencil. No way, I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawing is great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Wiz believe in you. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off those bad feelings. I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. Oh, that's nice. Spreading some positivity. Hello, youngins. Old lady. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping, but there's quite a bit of trash around this town. If you happen to find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Come on, youngins. Let's help the world one step at a time. Well, I have noticed a few pieces of trash. Pretty boy. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes is to relax, stop, and smell the roses. I misread that, but that's okay. Uh, Alright. Apple guy. Huff, huff, huff. Drink apple juice! Have you ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Same concept applies to apple juice. All doctors are allergic to apples. That's the truth. Apple juice supports hydration. It contains beneficial plant compounds and may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. Okay. You got trash! Okay, cool. Hey, old lady, I found some trash. Ooh. One dollar per bag of trash. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. That's not too bad. Yes, I'd like to save. I thought uh, the artist over here may have been like the human version of the... Uh, I don't remember. The, the glasses kid in the park uh, in the uh, other world plays uh, tetherball with the, the large guy. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. wonder if that's going to come up later. Oh, I don't have my knife. I can't cut the trees. I got trash. Old hobo. <laughs> there's a smelly hobo and there's an old hobo. Okay. Oh, hello. Cough. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, hello. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't do an old person's voice. Ah, today is such a beautiful day, don't you think? Especially not right now. I may not have any money, but at least the sunlight is free. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Here's the tether ball. It smells like rusty metal. Pale and shovel. Large metal cat. You remember it being a lot bigger. Mmm, okay. Is there any way I can get to this trash over here? That's a that's a dollar for trash, so like if there's any way I can get to the trash. I'm gonna. Cause that's, uh, you can make a lot of money doing that. Hello, youngins. You have some trash with you. You have to dispose of it properly. Dollar for my help. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of money for one trash bag. That's a lot. Like, I can't get over how much money that is. Okay, but, uh, I mean, I want to look around at everything, and I'm sure I'm gonna miss out on, like, the quote unquote true ending if I don't go like, interact with literally everything. But I don't think I'm going for the true ending. I just want to find out what the heck's going on here. I mean, I kind of get a sense of it. Like, I can see uh, Amori is kind of like, you know, uh, uh, he doesn't like to go outside. You know, he keeps to himself. And then I feel like something happened between Basil, Aubrey, and uh, Hero. I feel like something has happened. Maybe some horrible tragedy or something. I just made a wish that I would meet my one true love today. <laughs> okay. Good luck with that. Water fountain. You can see coins at the bottom. Can I take the coins? No, okay. Gino's Pizza. Well, I'm imagining it's pizza. I mean, uh, come on, boys, let's go to Hobbies first. Okay. Ooh, more trash. 
Each bit of trash is a is a dollar, so I'm gonna pick up every single bit of trash I can. Like if IRL, hey, I found a coin. If IRL every bit of trash was a dollar, I mean, there would never be any litter at anywhere. Whoa, it's Space Boyfriend or Space Boy. How do I interact with you? Okay, so the imaginary land. You know, that's that's what Amori and his friends imagined as kids around this town. But now that he's older, I guess he hasn't been able to grow up yet or something. And it, all his friends have moved on. That's my that's my current theory. I don't know if it'll ring true. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since you've been here. But it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Space Boy games, Sweetheart movies, oh, and a few pet rocks. Except now they're vintage. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. Okay, so Hero's not dead. That's good. He's in college right now. Mmm, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine. I don't really know if that's how that works, but okay. <laughs> no, that's a horrible idea. You should help pick out the gift, Wiz. Let's look around and see what there is. Well, it's nice that he's gone to college. The colorful CDs. Maybe you could play them at a jukebox. The CDs look pretty cool, but I think Hero would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. Colorful CDs. Okay. A new video game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. Rated M for Mature, huh? That's too violent for Hero. He definitely won't appreciate something like this. Really? Okay. A bunch of small figurines. I've always been fond of these little guys. Hero would get mad at me for spending my lunch money on them, though. Let's not remind him of that. Chock full of comics. Looking through the comics brings back so many memories. It's just like old times, huh, Wiz? Hero was never too interested in comics, though. Hmm. Cardboard cutout of Captain Space Boy. poster for a new game where you can run around and fight evil monsters on skateboards. Okay. Bunch of small figurines. Oh, that's just a bookshelf. Oh! This! Yes! This is perfect! Papa Chips chip off the old block cookbook. Wow, that's a mouthful. Here I had a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed it. He's going to be so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? Da, da, da. Twenty dollars? This is extortion! Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Uh, can you spot me, Wiz? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend, I knew I could count on you. You took Hero's gift off the shelf. I wonder what happens if I just try to leave with it. I imagine Kel's gonna yell at me, but I wanna try just to see. Wiz, did you forget? We're holding onto a potential gift for Hero. You can't just waltz on out of here. Yeah. I had to try, you know. Capsule machine. It's three dollars a try. <laughs> Alright, fine. Hey, shopkeep. We'd like to buy this cookbook, please. Kel, how have you been, buddy? It's been a while since you've come around, hasn't it? Ah, uh, that's Papa Chips Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook. I see you have a good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His, cook his cookies were my favorite. Oh. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chips' work. That'll be $20, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got Hero's Gift. Thanks a lot, Wiz. I bet Hero will love this. It's an old video game system hooked up to a TV. Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. Well, yes, of course I have to play Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. Yo, I see you got your eyes set on that video game. It's called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. It was more popular a few years ago, but it still retains some competitive players today. People from all over town have tried it, but I'll have you know that I still hold the high score. <laughs> if you can beat it, I'll give you something cool. Oh, hell yes. I am so doing this.
Is it like a Galaga? Oh, it's like a... Yeah, I don't remember what this is called. It's not Galaga, but it's like the other one. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Oh, shoot. That power up is not very helpful. You're trying to hide behind these blocks. Dodge. I guess this is kind of useful. There we go, price is averted. I don't even know what the high score is I'm trying to beat, but I'm just going to try to get a high score. Yeah, those power-ups just really are not that useful. Crisis averted. Yeah, as I've mentioned before, I'm kind of a sucker for games inside of games. 4,800's not bad. Oh, I've got one more life. Oh, well, shit. Hey, that's not too bad. Game over. What's the high score? Uh, no, I'm good. I don't know if I beat his high score or not. Yo, champs. Just going on a whim here, but would you be interested in buying off my last pet rock? They usually go for $25, but you seem like just the right guy for this one. So I'll let it go for $10. What do you say? Well, you know, this brings up an interesting point. I don't know. I know that in the uh, other world, we're looking for, quote-unquote, Hector, uh, Kel's pet rock. So I don't know if I buy this one, if I can take it back with me or not. So I'm going to try. Excellent. You and your new pet rock are a good match. Take care of it. You got a pet rock. Kel, do you want a pet rock? Whoa, hold on a sec, Wiz. Is that a pet rock you just bought? Wow, I don't believe it. This is really strange since we haven't played since we were kids. It just so happens that I have mine too. Oh, right here. Such a weird coincidence, huh? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we battle with our pet rocks? You still remember how to pro play, right? So many mini games in this game, I love it. Nope. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. Even if you don't, it's really easy to catch on. You'll get it in no time. Now let's clash! Are you ready to clash? I thought I was gonna say rock. I missed a good pun there. Pet rocks. Oh my god, it's like a fucking a Game Boy game or something. Oh, it's rock, paper, scissors! Why does one of us have more health than the other? Uh, I'll do paper. Wait, why is that image so familiar? Oh, it's probably nothing. Rock! Ooh, it's a tie. Let's try scissors! Ow! He got me. He's done rock most of the time, so I'll go paper again. Try paper again. <laughs> okay. I'll do paper one last time. Give him the old one, too. He always went for rock. Wait a minute. Does that mean that the Pluto guy was Kel's pet rock? No, couldn't be. Oh, shoot, I lost. I guess I'm pretty rusty. Well, that's okay. You were always the one who was good at video games anyways. I guess you're the same old whiz after all. I know it's been a while, so let me give you a refresher. Pet Rocks is a game where you and your pets team up and battle or clash. If you wear your pet rock as a charm, you can find other players with pet rocks and challenge them. From what I hear, the reigning champ lives somewhere around here, but no one knows what they look like. Kind of mysterious, huh? Who knows? Maybe we'll get to meet them one day. Maybe. Talk to this person. Colorful girl. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to shop here. 
Hey everybody, Wizard of Woe coming in at the halfway point of the video. Just wanted to check in on you, make sure everything's doing good, make sure you're having a good time, enjoying the video. If you are, thank you. Thank you for watching. That's all I had for you today, so I'll let you get right back to the video. Okay. My favorite novel just got a comic ap adaptation. But the main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. Yeah, that's always a problem. Like when books get movies about them or something, the characters don't often look like what you thought they did. What's this? Chock full of DVDs. Well, I, you know, a toy capsule machine. I don't have two dollars at the moment. I can go get two dollars. So, where do you want to go now, Wiz? Guess there's really not much to do around the suburbs, huh? Oh, how about the faraway park? Already went there, but we can go there again. Yeah, the park. We passed it on the way here. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yo, I'm Michael, a soon-to-be traveling musician. Musician. I've been playing guitar here at the town plaza for years now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. How much do you want to donate? I'll give you a dollar. That's all I can afford right now. There you go, guitar guy. Hmm, looks like I still have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you. In return, I'll play you an original song. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was a cutscene. I was just letting it play out. Okay, cool. I'll take that. It's fruit guy. Oh, it's orange guy. Drink orange juice! Have you ever heard the phrase, orange is the happiest color? No? Well, that's fine. Just know that the same concept applies to orange juice. It is vitamin C, which is essential for the healthy, uh, healthy immune system functions. It's also an antioxidant that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from, cells from free radical damage. So, would you like to buy some orange juice for two dollars? No. Okay, that's fine. As long as you're not buying any apple juice. I see. Fix it. Buckets of paint. Trash! I'll take that, thank you, I'll take that. Much appreciated. Can I go in this store? I can. There's a lot going on in here. Uh, I think I'll just head to the park. I'm just more interested in this story. What we got? Other Mart. Oh boy. Supermarket. Yeah, I think I'll just head on back right now. I just walk out of the road? No, I cannot do that. Probably for the best. Oh. Moving with my joystick, I'll move with my keypad now. Oh, there's a biker gang over there. Vending machine. Wait, don't go, please. Sorry, dude, I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her by yourself, you creep. Uh-oh. I'm begging you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait, is that... That's Basil! Oh shit, we found him. Leave him alone, you bully! Huh? Who's there? Probably the guy who just yelled at you. Oh, it's just Cal. Grumble, grumble. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Psh. Why are you all acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? Oh, it's it's not even a bicycle gang, it's a scooter gang. What 
Wait a minute. Is that Aubrey? That couldn't possibly be Aubrey. No way. Shit, it's Aubrey! Oh, fuck! Oh, hey, Aubrey. This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Let's show him what's what. Kel, what do you want? Stop messing with Basil. How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Wiz. Wiz is here? By the way, I renamed my character at the beginning. Uh, he was supposed to be named something else. But I don't think it was a Mori, so, you know, there you go. In case you were wondering. Wow, it really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four? Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. I don't know either, but I want to find out. Hmm, whatever. Aubrey, please, listen to me. Hey, stop that. Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Ugh, Wiz, come on. We gotta do something. I mean, I'll throw fists, but I don't think I can do that in this game. Huh, are you guys really picking a fight? Oh, shit. Is there gonna be a fight, fight uh, sequence, but in the real world? Sure, why not? The two of you against me? How's that sound? Ooh. Uh oh. Come at me. I'll take bo I'll take on both of you. Okay, well she has a bat with nails in it. Also this music is awful. Uh I really don't want to fight Aubrey, but okay. What skills do I have? Calm down. Remove some motion, heal some heart. I got a bandage and a first aid kit. No snacks. Alright, here we go. Encourage. Kel encourages Wiz. Raise Wiz's attack. Let's do that. Oh shit. Did I just knife her in real life? Oh fuck, Aubrey. Ah, what the? Is, is that a knife? Oh my god, I did. Oh shit. I didn't want to do that. Oh fuck, did I just kill someone? Oh fuck! Oh shoot. Aubrey, are you okay? You're- you're hurt. I- I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Ugh. I'll get you back for this. But I couldn't do anything else. I tried to run. Fuck, is this gonna be like, uh, one of those things in Undertale where I should've just, like, let her attack us? Whoa, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there, or we would've... I guess she she did have a, a bat with nails in it. Wait a second, give me that! Kel took away your steak knife. <gasps> oh, fuck. You shouldn't be carrying around things like this, Wiz. That's dangerous. Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have not have been nothing but trouble. Oh boy. Poor Basil. Let's check if he's okay. This game's getting really dark, guys. Ah, oh boy. Hey Basil, how you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you for literally stabbing a bitch. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta know if I could have done that any different. I gotta know if I could have done that any different. Hold on. Hold on, could I have not knifed her? I think there is a way. Mm. Okay, if you have Kel beat her. 
Shit. I didn't know that I had a knife. Okay, but the knife, okay. Sorry, I just looked it up. The knife is still the reason that we win because they leave because he had a knife even if he didn't use it. Shit. God damn it. I want to go back and redo it, but I don't think I can. Oh, well. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you, Kel. I don't know if you noticed, but Wiz is here too. Say hi, Wiz. Or say hi, Wiz. Oh, hey, Wiz. It's been a while, hasn't it? Haha. <laughs> Woo! What a happy reunion. So did you want to hang out with us today? Oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I should probably head home. Oh, really? Are you sure? My uh, grandmother hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's at least walk you home. It's been so long since we all hung out. Oh, all right then. Thank you. Okay, I have no idea where he lives, but I'm going to assume it's back near where we live. Oh, man, this game's getting dark. Uh, wait a minute. It's a wormhole! Hmm. Okay. That's not the way to Basil's house. Remember, Wiz, it's on the street. It's diagonal from ours from the... I have... From the crosswalk. So, like, over here? Is that what you're saying? Oh, it's a cat. So, over here? Oh, that makes sense. There's Basil's house. It's the one with the green roof. Got all the flowers and stuff. Uh, thanks for walking me home. No problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Okay. Wait! Please don't go! Oh boy. Uh, I mean... I'm so sorry, I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil, what do you need? Well, you see... Something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends, do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Ah, uh, right. Well, Aubrey, she took my pho photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she, she won't give it back. What a scumbag. Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Wiz got you covered. I'll go stab her again. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you. By the way, about what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Hmm. Well, I'll see you later. Now I'm wondering, I wonder if the reality that Amori has, or Wiz uh, has in his brain when he's Amori, I wonder if that is how it was, or is how Wiz remembers it being. I don't know. I want to find out what's happened that has uh, caused all these changes. Come on, Wiz, there's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. Okay, but I'm going to look for more trash real quick while I'm here. Because I need the money. Can I steal trash from your trash can? No. Oh, well. I can't believe Aubrey turned into a... Oh, and that's... Yeah, that's something else I wanted to say was... Yeah, I stabbed her, but she was threatening us with a bat with nails in it. So it was going to be a fight to the death one way or the other, I feel like. Honestly, my knife probably not did not do a whole lot of damage compared to a bat with nails in it. Especially if Aubrey can hit as hard as she can in the other world, then we would have been in trouble. I'm gonna save real quick. Hmm. Olive beanie. Oh. There's a tree shaking. 